Good morning and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Michelle Griego. Please pitch us future show ideas to facebook.com slash Bay Area Focus. Today we'll hear about distinctive youth programs, cutting edge art shows, and a thriving cultural center. But first, we'll get the inside scoop on the world of radio. Jane from Alice973 joins me now. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Well, what a great show, first of all. You're on from 3 to 7 p.m., yes. right? But your day starts a lot earlier than that because you have a lot of things to do before the show. It's true. The title is technically music director, assistant program director, and afternoon drive. So there's a lot of stuff to get done before I go in and have fun in the studio. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> a lot. And you do have a lot of fun in the studio with the show and all of the music. That must just that just must be a fun job. It's a dream come true. You know, it's so funny. You post something on social media and every comment is, if you need an assistant, I'm available <laughs> tomorrow. You know, I mean, the, the people that you get to meet are so fun. They're your musical heroes. And, okay. and the things that we get to do, um, not just, you know, in the station with us, but with our listeners, the experience that we get to provide as the conduit between our listeners and the artists that they love is the sure. best part of being live and local. Yeah, that is great. What kind of listeners tune in? You know, the short answer is everybody. <laughs> we really we really love it when um, men, women, older kids listen. Um, we have a really thriving, again, local audience because Compared to so many other radio stations, especially here in the Bay Area, we are all here live on the air sure. and we all live here. Mm -hmm. A lot of other radio stations, and they try and hide it, so sometimes people don't know, but a lot of other radio stations, they're live in the morning and then all the other shows um, are either piped in from L.A., mm -hmm or um, you know, somebody recorded that show earlier in the day or the night before even from San Diego or anywhere else. And so they don't have anybody actually live in the studio. As compared to us, CBS wants to hire local Bay Area people. Sure. So our morning show is live, Sarah and Vinny, Gretchen's live after them, I'm live, Katie Mason live, Krems, all of us you know, actually can talk about what happened that day in the Bay. So sure. we're all um, available to our audience because we live the same lives they do. And you mentioned CBS. Of course, CBS Radio is the parent company for Alice. And what you mentioned about what Alice is doing, I mean, it's kind of old school because so much has changed in radio. It really as is. As well as TV. It really is. Mm -hmm. And so like I said, you know, on other radio stations where the person that you're listening to taped the show earlier in San Diego, they don't know that the Giants just won. They don't know <laughs> that there's a backup on the Bay Bridge. Right. They don't know, um, you know, if there's breaking celebrity news or something like that. So it is kind of old school that we can break in live and say, um, hey, you know, this just happened and we want to play a song about it. Um, it also gives us the opportunity to do old school events. Mm -hmm. We do two free shows every year in Golden Gate Park. Um, we just did Summer Thing in June, and this year again we'll do Now and Zen in September. And Absolutely free. You get artists free. to come out there and perform. Massive new names. artists or um, a little bit of both. You know, we try and do um, um, sometimes a heritage artist, and then we always try and do someone who we're in the process of breaking right now. Like we had the pleasure of being the radio station in America that broke Ed Sheeran. That's so, amazing. Yeah, it's really he's the best. So um, okay, so when you listen to Ed Sheeran, who at the time was an unknown basically, and you hear his song, I mean, do you get chills and you just think this guy? going to be a star? Absolutely. That's that's exactly what happened. I went and I saw him at a tiny club in L.A. Um, called the Hotel Cafe, and and I was just like, this guy is going to be massive. And I came back to work, and I told my boss, I'm like, we have to play this guy. And uh, and so when something like that happens, you know, Christina Perry is another example mm -hmm. of someone that we played um, before anybody else. And not to you know, chime in on it again, but that's part of being live and local. Sure. My boss and I are literally the only people who are in charge of what we play. We don't have some, you know, big brother, older, you know, big person coming in later and, and saying, these are the songs you have to be playing. It's all up to me and my boss, which gives us, which gives us the um, autonomy and the creativity to be able to break certain artists that nobody else is playing right now, like Christina Perry and Ed Sheeran. And that's what you want. CBS kind of leaves you alone and lets you do your own thing. God bless. Yeah, I know. So Ed Sheeran should be sending you flowers then, is that right? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll Instagram you. I'll tag you if he does. There you go. Well, you mentioned Instagram. I mean, social media is a huge part of radio now. It is. When it's it didn't really even fun. exist, what, 10 years ago? I know. It's crazy, ago? like, what a massive force it is now. But it's really fun, too, because um, anybody that follows me on Instagram, I instantly follow back. So I get to see all of my listeners' um, posts about, like, what shows they're at. And, like, you know, when I some one of my listeners posted that they got engaged 
um, at, I think it was a Kelly Clarkson show. So the next day, I played a Kelly Clarkson song. It was like, that one goes out to them because they got engaged at Shoreline sure. last night. You know, like it's just, it's really cool to be able to interact immediately with yes. them because of the different accounts that we're all on together. What I always loved about radio, which I wish we could do on TV, is bring viewers in where you can get phone calls from them. And now a lot of it is on Twitter and Instagram and things like that. So it's all of these different networks that you can just get And that's get so feedback. funny because we do, we have eight phone lines in the studio and if there's not a contest, it's a little eight line graveyard. <laughs> there are no calls anymore. It used to be all phone calls. Right. And now nobody calls in. It's all texting and, and you know, Twitter and, and Facebook. So, that's amazing. But it's fun. It's really fun because it's, it's more... Um, you know, it's more instant and it's also 24 hours a day. Yes. I can be in touch with somebody at a show versus just between three and seven. Well, keep up the good work. You're definitely entertaining. And Thank it's you. Great music. <laughs> All right, Jane, thanks so much. Thank you. And to check out podcasts and more from Alice at 97.3, please log on to RadioAlice.com. Again, that's RadioAlice.com. Coming up, we'll hear about sports and academic programs for youth in Visitation Valley. We'll be right back.